Now let's turn our eyes to absolute value equations and inequalities. Remember, one of the first things you need to do whenever you are presented with something that has an absolute value is that you need to get that absolute value by itself before you do anything else. Okay? It's going to be the safest, the best way of solving these guys. Starting with this one, you have the absolute value minus 5 equals 7. Well, the best thing to do is go ahead and add 5 and move it to the other side. And now we get the absolute value completely by itself the absolute value of 6x plus 23 is equal to 12. Now when we talked about these before, getting the absolute value by itself equal to 12 means um, your distance from 0 needs to be 12. Well, how many numbers are 12 units away from 0? There are two, 12 and negative 12. So as long as the expression inside here will equal 12 or negative 12, you're going to have a solution. So that tells us the two equations that we write and solve. The first one being 6x plus 23 is equal to 12. The second equation is 6x plus 23 equals negative 12. Okay? So notice here that the absolute value is not even there anymore. It's the absolute value that leads to these two separate equations. And then from here, we recognize that these guys are both linear, and we go through the process of solving them. And you notice that the steps are exactly the same. I've got to subtract 23 here. I get 6x is equal to negative 11. Divide both sides by 6. So x is equal to negative 11 over 6. And the steps that I took here in orange are going to be the same steps I'm going to take over here. I need to subtract 23 on both sides again. And so now we have 6x is equal to negative 35. Divide both sides by 6 just like I did here. So x is equal to negative 35 over 6. Reduce these as best you can, but there is nothing for us to do. You cannot reduce those at all. And that's it. Again, get the absolute value by itself first before you separate into your two equations. Just like in this one down here. 4 plus 5 times the absolute value of 3x minus 11 equals 39. So before I do anything, get the absolute value by itself. If you have a hard time seeing what we were supposed to do, pretend that the absolute value isn't there. If I gave you this and I said solve 4 plus 5w equals 39, and I said get w by itself, I don't think anybody here would have a question about subtracting 4 and dividing by 5. That's the same thing that's going on here. Unfortunately, some students think that you can add 4 and 5. If you can't add the 4 and 5 here, you're not adding it here. So, first things first, move the 4 to the other side. So subtract 4. So 5 times the quantity 3x minus 11 in absolute value is equal to 35. Now we divide both sides by that coefficient. So the absolute value of 3x minus 11 equals 7. These are the steps I want to see. Right? Now that the absolute value is by itself, you separate it into your two equations. So in order for the absolute value to equal 7, the expression inside must equal 7, or the expression inside must equal negative 7. That's what logic tells us. Okay, From here, just like we did in the last problem, I need to solve this for x, so I need to add 11 to both sides. And you know what? I might as well go ahead and do that over here as well. It's the same step, but it's just a different number that I'm starting with on the right side. So here, 3x equals 18, but on the other equation, 
3x is equal to 4. One final step, dividing by 3. All right, so x is equal to 6, and over here, x is equal to 4 thirds. So it's really not too bad to separate these guys and get your two answers. All right, so now let's take a look at solving absolute value inequalities. And again, as I was telling you before, your first job is to get the absolute value by itself. So starting with this guy. Well, the absolute value is already by itself. And when you have the absolute value is less than, remember absolute value measures distance from zero. So if I want your distance to be less than 43, that means that you're kind of bounded. You can only go one way 43 or one way 43. So you're kind of stuck right now in between a positive and a negative 43. So we can now rewrite this without understanding that being less than 43 creates these boundaries creates a boundary of 43 on the right side, and it creates a boundary of negative 43 on the left side. In fact, if you want to separate this into two inequalities, it would look like this. It would be that 7x plus 25 is less than 43, and, which means intersection, that 7x plus 25 is greater than the opposite, negative 43. But instead of us writing two separate inequalities like this, it's easier to go ahead and write a single three-part compound inequality. And it's a true statement here. Negative 43 is less than 43, so we haven't, we haven't messed that up at all. So it's a nice, normal three-part inequality. So subtract 25 on all three parts. So we have negative 68 is less than 7x which is less than 18. And then your final step here to get x by itself, divide everything by seven. All right, so we have negative 68 over seven, which is less than x, which is less than 18 over seven. We could try to reduce, but none of these guys are going to simplify, so it stays. Um, just as it is. And knowing how this is supposed to work out, x is bounded in between these two values. We are not able to be equal to these guys, so they stay as less than, they stay as parentheses, and you have this one section of the number line. Again, when the absolute value is less than, you're creating boundaries, so it's stuck in between, right? It's like having uh, you know your dog on a leash. They can go out 43 units one way, 43 units the other way, but they have to stay bounded within that. Same thing that we have right here. Now for this next one, we have the absolute value of x minus 8 minus 22 is greater than or equal to negative 7. So you have to first get the absolute value by itself by adding 22 to both sides. Because before you do that, you can't really determine uh, exactly where you're going to be looking for your solution set. So the absolute value of x minus 8 is greater than or equal to 15. And since this says the absolute value is greater than, we're talking about distance. Distance is greater than 15, which means you're not staying bounded, but you're pushing away. You can be greater than 15 one way or less than negative 15 on the other side. So. We do have to separate and write two different inequalities. So we have to say that x minus 8 is greater than or equal to 15, or x minus 8 is less than or equal to, notice that I'm changing the direction of the inequality, and I'm going to change the sign of this guy. So it's just what I said before. In order for your distance to be more than 15, you got to be 15 or greater or on the other side, negative 15 or less than that. And that's what we have right here in these two inequalities. Notice that once I split it up into the two, I don't have the absolute value anymore. So we now add eight on both sides. And you know what? I gotta do the same thing over here. Add eight to both sides. 
And so here, x is greater than or equal to 23, or x is less than or equal to negative 7. Now, I want to put this on a number line just so we know exactly what we're doing. Pay attention to the order. This is negative 7 on the left and 23 on the right. So, greater than or equal to 23 is closed at 23, going to the right, and then less than or equal to negative 7 is closed at negative 7, going to the left. So these guys are going in opposite directions, like we expected, and it would just translate this into interval notation. So this is from negative infinity to negative 7 with a bracket, union, bracket, 23 to infinity. So remember, get the absolute value by itself. Pay attention to whether it's going to be bounded or pushed away, or if you're just dealing with an equation. Separate your equation into two different pieces. Sometimes you have to separate your inequality into two separate inequalities. If you get an absolute value that's less than, then it's like this last problem that we did. Being less than means you can create a single string of inequalities and very quickly you get your answer. So take time to practice these guys, watch your signs, and everything's going to be fine.